I work for the Green European Foundation in Brussels, which is the, um, the European political foundation associated to the Green Group in the European Parliament and the European Green Party. And maybe just a little bit about uh, the history of European political foundations and the Green, the Green European Foundation in particular, because we have a very recent history. Um, the, the European political foundations have been created only four years ago, in 2008, and they were a result of the, of the European Convention. And as you know, the, the two failed the European referendums on the Constitution in, in 2005 in, uh, in France and the Netherlands have led to the belief that Europe is not reaching out to, to its citizens and that there is a really big gap in the perception between what the European Union does and what it is perceived of doing in, in its citizenry. Um, and therefore, European political foundations um, associated to the political groups in the European Parliament were created on the German model of political foundations with the idea of bringing European discussions closer on the national agendas of political debates. And uh, of course, we as a Green European Foundation work closely with uh, national political foundations of the Greens in various uh, European Union member states. And while our work is focused on the European Union, we sometimes also look beyond, uh, beyond that to, to the larger Europe in trying to, to address the global problems that, that concern us all. Um, I would like to thank very much Nula and the Green Ireland Foundation for welcoming us here and for agreeing to work together on a project discussing the future of the European Union. Uh, which in 2012 the Green European Foundation is working together with the German uh, Böll Foundation um, in the idea that we are clearly all in a deep crisis um, and this I, I work in Brussels and Brussels is usually a very uh, centered place of, um, of European identity but also of a belief that that Europe is, is, a, is a project that will bring a, a better change to, to our lives and I've never really seen so much depression <laughs> as, as currently in Brussels um, and I think a lot of it has to do with also the various understandings of the crisis and, and with this project our main aim was to, to try to to create a platform where the discussions on the crisis and on the solutions to the crisis, be it more Europe, uh, more integration in Europe, or less Europe, and what type of more Europe and what kind of less Europe, um, to see how this is played out in the various member states and to, to create a platform where people from Hungary and people from Ireland can read of what's happening in their various countries and in this way sort of promote a European debate around the crisis, around the solutions to the crisis and on the green solutions to the crisis. So this is why we have been arranging this year uh, debates in various European countries. We've had a debate in Spain um, almost a month ago. We have now this debate in Ireland. We keep having debates, I think, in Austria, in Finland. Uh, the Bell Foundation has organized itself debates in Germany and in uh, Central and Eastern Europe, in, uh, in Hungary, in the Czech Republic. Uh, we'll have a debate in Belgium as well. Um, the idea being really to, to see which are common points, how, how do we commonly perceive the ways out of the crisis, and if this is with more Europe, what is our green vision for Europe, and uh, how are we going to get out of this together with more solidarity uh, rather than less. So I'm, I'm very much looking forward for the discussions today. It's, it's been really fascinating hearing also about the, the history of this place, a clear democratic link uh, to, to the place where we are today. So I hope by the end of the day we will come out with uh, some clear democratic ideas for, for the future of Europe and I'm looking forward to the debate. Thank you.